Yes, I know, I know, I've got too many projects. I know I've got too many projects on the go. I know I, I haven't finished the MGA yet. I know I haven't done that, but it was really good price and I just had to get it. So walk this way, walk this way. This is the new one. This is hopefully just look, I just want to get it going and get it on the road and enjoy it for the summer. So come and have a look. So there it is. This is my 90, 1971 Brazilian import Volkswagen camper van, split screen. Uh, it's not bad at all in terms of the, the body work. It's pretty straight for a, a non-runner as I bought it. It's, uh, it's not in bad shape. There's not a huge amount of rust on it. Um, Inside, it's pretty good. It's even got the headliner in and everything. It's nothing like the MGA project to start with as a starter. Um, it's got lo loads of interior parts. I've not taken any of this out yet, so I don't know quite what I've got in there, but that's, uh, that's definitely a rock and roller seat for the back, which is very handy. Uh, and the front's all intact and together, not looking too bad at all. And it came with a whole bunch of parts. I've got all sorts of, I've not gone through it all, but I know there's an exhaust in there and dampers and all sorts of things. So it was an abandoned project by someone. They'd fallen out, had it for a short while, imported it, had it for a short while, and then fell out of love. And that's the engine. And that's pretty clean. There's a lot of new parts on there. It's got a new fuel pump on there. I can see a new coil. So, and I've seen a video of it running before they started to take it to pieces. So I'm quite confident that uh, once I've reconnected everything at the front, I'll be able to get this going. So what they did do is take the front axle off and start to clean up all of the underside and just see what they've got. So this is all bare metal when I bought it. So I've just slapped a quick coat of Hydrate 80 on there just to protect it. But I think what I'll do is I'll take the front axle off again and do a proper job on the underside, uh, do any welding that's needed, uh, pr protect it properly, coat it, and then put that back on and reconnect uh, everything underneath. And you see it's all been, the brake pipes have been cut and uh, Everything's been disconnected, so I couldn't start. I've been able to start it. It steers, uh, but that's it at the moment. So that's is the new project. A few weeks of work, I think, to get that in a runnable condition, and then we'll take it for a drive. I'll just see how we get on.